Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. CNA Veltons, I don't know if that's the owners, naturally cloudy beer, a little bit below that original. When I looked it up, it shows a Keller beer, which is basically cellared beer, a lager. It's brewed in uh, Grevenstein, Germany. Here's the can. This is what I was looking at. It's kind of written in a strange way here. It's kind of divided. The typical lions with, you know, a mash tent paddles. A lot of them have that. It says, in the 19th century, the brothers Carl and Anton Veltons, okay, so that's where that CNA Veltons comes from, brewed an exquisite beer in their brewery in Grevenstein, a beer which gained popularity beyond the borders of their homeland. Grevensteiner Brewery, CNA Veltons, has now continued the story where the brothers left off. Our naturally cloudy original is a smooth rural style beer. Use spring water and freshly harvested hops. Traditional malt gives amber color and full body aroma. I don't know why they call it the aroma full body. I've never heard that before. This whole block of text, that's what I just read. Too small to see, but that's what it was. Short story there. I'm imagining this beer's been around a long time since it said 19th century, so over 100 years. As far as I know, this beer is available all year round. This can cost me two bucks. A little bit quick detail says traditional Keller beer, dark orange or amber, smell of caramel and fresh fruit, malty, sweet, light roasted flavors, full body, original gravity 12.5 degrees Plateau, and if you multiply it by four, you'll have the original gravity. I'm expecting the flavors I talked about here some caramel sweetness, maybe a little bit of fruit in the aroma. Body style expected is what they say, full body, but that doesn't mean that's what I'll sense. 5.2 alcohol, no idea what the IVs are. I can't remember if I've ever had killer beer before. If I have, I have no memory of it. I can't really say what's typical for a killer beer because that's one style I know pretty much nothing about. What you see right there is pretty accurate. Yeah, that's why you get two. They said an orange color. That's what I see. It's cloudy, as you can tell, um, like a Hefeweizen. Can you see my fingers? And pretty thin head. It's died down a little bit more. Was a little bit thicker than that. I don't see any sediment in there. That's probably a yeast haze. The appearance is fine. It's not off-putting. I mean, I wish it was a little deeper in color, but you know, it's all right. Actually, I'm not getting anything out of the nose right now. They say it's sweet, fresh fruit, but fruit I should get out of it. Yeah, straight. I, I get nothing out of the nose at all. I'm a little disappointed there. It's about 90% of the roof of my mouth, a, a light coating, sweet malt, but I mean light. A little multi sweetness. Could be from some caramel in there. Disappears really quickly. Doesn't leave any lingering taste. This tastes light going into medium body. Does not taste full body to me at all. They say light roasted flavors. I'm not getting that. I could see where someone may, maybe get a little bit of a malty, uh, grainy flavor out of this. I get just a touch of it. I still like getting toasted though. Not bitter at all. I still don't get any fruit. No caramel. Besides that very gentle malt presence that I taste, there's just nothing else. The mouthfeel is thin, perhaps a little watery. I think this is a simple recipe. My guess is they only use a couple of malts in it. Basic noble hops. There's not much character to it. It just it doesn't have much life. It's not bad, but how can it be bad when there's nothing there? Ninety percent of the roof of my mouth, maybe even ninety-five percent, dissipates very quickly. I'm not getting sweet, fruit, citrus, toasted, no hops. I'm not even getting the malt that I was getting on the glass. Doesn't really have much flavor to it. There's a tiny bit of flavor in there that could be like a maybe a little bit of bready, crackery. It's so light, I can't really tell what it is, and that's all I get. Between the glass and the bottle, uh, the glass, I get a little bit of maltiness, and nothing out of the can. 
There are no off flavors in this. If there were, they would they wouldn't be able to be hidden behind the uh, lack of other flavors. I don't taste anything that doesn't belong there except at the absolute lack of flavor. Would I buy it again? No, I wouldn't. It just doesn't have any flavor to it. Would I recommend it? I would recommend trying it. You might like it. If you're looking for something that's kind of, you know, has some flavor to it and tastes like a true German beer, then no. Overall, for a lighter beer, I think it's okay. There's nothing bad to it, but there's just a complete lack of flavor. Grevenstein Original by CNA. What does that say there? CNA Veltons, the brothers of Star Wars. If you have any comments, feedback, let me hear them. Like to uh, let other people think. That's all for this review. I'm going to finish off this Keller beer. Prost. It's in. Uh, where the fuck is this brewed by? How long do I don't feel it. I don't feel like going through the full list to go through another, every other video and move on to something else. Preferably with some flavor in it.